Hi folks, I'm Zero and I'm going to briefly explain Paint.net's Magic Wand Selection Tool. Uh, I then just want to demonstrate how to use it in the creation of a Team Fortress 2 sprayable image. Uh, basically Paint.net provides um, a few different means for selecting or highlighting portions of an image, um, indicating that further changes to the image apply only to the area selected. So in the Tools window, You'll find buttons for the four selection types, which are rectangle, lasso, ellipse, or the magic wand. So for example, if you use the rectangle select tool, you're able to select boxed areas in your image. You can then limit effects that you apply to just that portion of the picture. If I press delete, only the pixels within the boxed area are removed from the image. Just like that. Of course, Control Z undoes your previous steps and control I inverts your selection so that everything you didn't initially select is now selected. Now if you select one of the four um, selection tools in the um, tool window then you'll on the toolbar you'll see this option here called selection mode. If you click the little drop down arrow you'll see the different selection modes that are available to you. These let you adjust your selected area without having to actually start over or use undo. Um, replace is the default mode and it basically forgets about selections you've previously made and starts over with your new selection. So if you've got a little box that already exists you create a new one, it just forgets about the old one. So there's a couple of notes here. Uh, while you hold down the control key in replace mode Paint.net behaves as if you've selected add mode. So if you've already got a box here, I hold down control and create another box. It keeps both of them. The next thing to remember is that uh, when you're using add, your selections don't need to touch one another, just as they are here. They don't need to form some sort of selection blob to be valid. And finally, just be aware of the mode you pick. If you choose subtract and then uh, forget, the next time you go to create a selection, you'll see that you can't actually do it. So let's just sort of emulate that here, get rid of my existing selections. So I think I'm using my, my rectangle selection tool in order to draw a box around Zoidberg's head here. But of course that doesn't happen because I'm in subtract mode. I'm actually removing that area from the existing selection, which doesn't exist. So no selection is made as a result. So now on to the Magic Wand tool. The Magic Wand tool allows you to select areas of color similar to the way the other selection tools allow you to select a given shape. Unlike the other selection tools, however, the Magic Wand tool takes into consideration factors such as the actual content of the image and the current tolerance setting. In many cases, all that needs to be done to select a given area of the image is to simply click on it. You may think of the magic wand as working similarly to the paint bucket, except that instead of filling the area with color, it will select that area. So all I want from this image, uh, basically, is the central green portion there with Zoidbird's head. Um, and to do that, all I all I really want to do is. Um, um, you know, get rid of the black region as well as this text. And of course, there are a few different ways of doing that. I'm going to do it sort of the roundabout way. Um, basically, first of all, I want to select uh, the black area. When you start working with paint.net, the tolerance level for each of the selection tools is going to be set at about 50%. Well, it will be set at 50%. Um, just because I've already been fiddling with this image, I know that um, the tolerance level I want is 20%. So I'm just going to hit that reselect the area with replace and there you go so now the other thing you'll notice here is that these letters down here are still unselected so that if I were to hit delete now they would remain and I don't want that so if I just draw a box around them they become part of the overall selection and now when I hit delete I'm just left with the, the central image and that's it really um, all I want to do now is create that in-game uh, spray for Team Fortress 2 and the game really only needs a few things in order to import an image. It needs the image to be sized at 256 by 256 or 512 by 512 pixels and it needs the image to be saved as a 32-bit TGA file without compression. 
So the first thing I want to do here is just crop the image to the proper size. And now I just want to resize the canvas. Get rid of this uh, white area that was inserted by paint.net. Then I just want to stretch out the actual image to fill up the area. And that's it. Again, my name is Zero. That's all for this tutorial.